This is the house that camera I built. Time to get started. Hey there, we're about camera. I'm Cameron. We're here today at Open Streets Gainesville. Um, I'm with Gainesville Tabletop. Uh, today, we're here doing some board games with people, a place to sit down and relax while they're out uh, looking at all the sites. We're going to try to make a round and get the stuff on camera so you can see what's up. But mostly, I'm going to be here playing games and trying to teach people a couple things um, about how to play this or that. So, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> Let me see if I can find Callie and get her to say something about her business. So who are you? Callie William. Uh, so, and this is your business, correct? Right? Yes, my business. So, Gamesville Tabletop Incorporated. So at this point in time, what is your, your existing presence? So at this point in time, I have almost zero existing presence. I have a website that's being worked on, and I have an eBay store that will be up soon. Oh, so you do have a web presence that's coming a lot faster than the doctor. Yes, a lot faster. Okay, so yeah, so it is GamesfieldTabletop.com, um, so keep an eye out. Um, seems to have lots of good things in place we can talk and stuff. I, I don't know how familiar anyone watching this would be, that like I've planned out game stores in the past with people, and I actually watched someone who wasn't listening to other people in on the plan, open a shop and fail. <laughs> um, so that was a thing that happened. Um, so Callie seems to be pretty on top of things. What, what kind of focuses do you want to, to be selling? Um, well, because of the name, I'm, I'm going to be strictly tabletop games, so there won't be video games, and um, I don't know if I'll have a general focus, so it'll probably be a broad focus of board games, TCGs, and role play games. See, and this is something that I always argue about. When you say tabletop game, what do you mean? I mean a game that is played at a table with other people. Okay, so uh, as for the war gamers out there, the miniature guys that have a strict room definition of tabletop. Are you going to be supporting miniatures? And... Yes, there will be miniatures. Any any big game names you can throw out there? Just the Warhammer, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, War Machine, War Machine maybe. We'll talk about Project Press. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and then of course you said Magic the Gathering. Uh, right. Are there any other TCGs out there that you're going to be? Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so yeah, Pokemon's and Wizards as well. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is something else these days. I just can't remember. It's one card game I never really got hooked into. Um, Me either. <laughs> so, but I mean, it's important to, to support it and out there. And of course, you and I are big fans of uh, board games. So, right. And fixed card games. Real board games. So. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get to playing some yeah, some games. I'm not gonna take a lot of Kelly's time here, but um, yeah. So let's move on. Come find me on the basement. We kicked off the day with a little bit of Dragon Slayer, a little dice rolling game that looked super familiar, but I'd actually never played with it. And then uh, old favorite of mine, Guillotine. Uh, <laughs> it's a real fun game about getting ahead. And here is King of Tokyo. You've actually seen this on tabletop, along with Munchkin. Munchkin's always a fun game to get in the mix with people. And here we have Takanoko, a game all about eating bamboo, eating, growing, whatnot. And, of course, Catan, also seen on tabletop. Fun, fun game. And wrapping up the day, we ended up with Battle for Wizard Mountain, another dice rolling game. I actually have to get in on this still. So, yeah, the, um, the gator and the fish were made for the homecoming parade. Um, it's kind of a... Spontaneous thing that we wanted to do is contribute to the bike section of the parade and try to make the bike section anticipated and really as much as we could. Um, and they're all made from salvage material, bike parts that were salvaged or donated, um, scrap lumber, and the outside is all cardboard and paper mache. So you can do a lot with just you know shaping cardboard, adding paper to the surface, and then using old house paint to give it color. And, um, and you know it's all recycled more or less. You know it's you know 97 percent recycled material. So I kind of wanted to make sure that we maintain that side of it. Okay. Uh, how long did this project take you? I mean, well, this... that fish is about three years old now, and the gator was built last year. And each one, you know, probably took a, you know, we built them pretty fast, about well, two weeks to build them. You know, two kind weeks. of okay. very fast and loose. You know, that's kind of the style. Longer because of the penis. Yeah, the, um, you know, the, the first part you have to figure out is all the mechanical stuff. You know, and this the gator with the feet moving and the, and the mouth chomping, it kind of took a lot to get figured out. And then the outside surface is put on just to give it the texture and the look. Yeah, yeah, you did a really good job on the aesthetics. Yeah, I really, I wanted to make sure that I got it as anatomical as I could, considering that it's made out of bike parts and scraps. So, you know, I wanted to give it the sort of realistic.
realistic alligator look, not the you know, cartoon. Oh, oh yeah, you do, you do a great job. Here in Florida, like, people are used to seeing gator stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, like, a lot of people aren't used to, like, when I moved here, I was like, the dinosaur. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and this is, like, you know, uh, would be the, uh, the, the, the larger end, you know, scale of an alligator. I'm not sure if you can find an alligator like this, this size in the wild, but, No, I think this is know, saltwater is. crocodile size. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Story. A little exaggeration for the, uh, for the audience. Uh, what was your name again? Raymond. Raymond? Yeah, Raymond. Good to meet you, sir. Um, nice to meet you. you guys were with uh, the Rotary Club here in Gainesville, right? Well, we right? stopped by to, um, to show our artwork and we some pictures. We're, into, we're artists. We're local artists in town. Uh, okay. Raymond Rawls, my, my wife, Lorraine Durden. And, um, we do a lot of museum exhibit work, but this is something we're going to do with fun and to just uh, contribute to you know, some of our skills to uh, the art in the community. in Gainesville, hit these guys up, they know what they're doing. They just like, the cute, right, bigger parts. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a mesh so they can see out of it. Out open. Uh, it's a really great job on this fish, too. No mechanical jaws, but look at that thing. You don't need it. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.